Welcome to Narva to James Bill. Hope you're well. Thanks for joining me. Well, it's just stopped raining and it doesn't look like it's going to do any more rain today. So I'm going to finish painting the bow because I forgot to do it last time. And there's a few bits on the inside here that need to be done as well. I'm also meeting Graham up here in a few hours time um, who has very generously offered me a 12 volt fridge so um, that is going to be brilliant get the galley nearly finished so uh, cheers for that Graham bits of paint I need to sort out in here uh, so just under here I don't know why I didn't do it I think I didn't do it there because of the rope God knows why I didn't do it here it's my style I guess but I think I'm going to paint the whole of the stern again now put the second coat on there's probably enough paint in here to do I've only got a brush no roller it's pretty straightforward these guys behind me are uh, inflating a kayak and they're going from Birmingham to London by kayak he reckons it's two more weeks for him to get there wish him luck Thank you, boss. Good support. Thank you, mate. Have a good one. Yeah, thank you very much. Hope I will see you in Norwegian one day. Best of luck, pal. It's got in the boat all right, now I've just got to hope it fits in the slot. 
This is my new 12 volt fridge, courtesy of Graham, who came up here this afternoon to drop it off. Right. Oh, that is tight. Oh, go on, you bastard. Oh, well, good. It fits in widthways, which uh, is a result. Cupboard opens. Perfect. Right. Right, so there she is in place. Open her up, that's fine. And this cupboard opens to there. So obviously it's sticking out kind of a little bit. Uh, I anticipated it sticking out. I knew it'd stick out a bit. I can still get in there fine. If it's causing me a problem, I can always increase the depth of that panel there chop a bit off the door off and uh, kind of basically move up the move the hinge across a little bit but for the moment that's all right and if I show you at the back of the fridge so on the back of the fridge there's the uh, compressor I presume that's the bit to fill it up with um, if anyone can let me know but it's the uh, Fit Frigio, Italian made. But yeah, nice looking bit of kit. And obviously it just needs those two connecting. So the plan will be to run the cables, annoyingly, from the bottom there, up the back, into a connection there, and then it'll run across there down to the electric point there. Ideally, I just run them straight under the floor, but that's not advised. So I'll have to go up, even if it was in conduit under the floor, it's still not advised. So I'll run it across above the roof. And inside the fridge, it's great. Kind of plenty of storage. You can fit full bottles in there. I'll demonstrate that now. There we go. So, milk and beer in there. But in here, it's also got a clever little thing here. So you can flip that bit up and you can also stand bottles in there. So, plenty of room in this little guy. It's got a control mechanism there. And in here, there's a very small little ice box, which Graham reliably informs me is good for a packet of burgers, something like that. But really, it will keep ice. That's all I really want. So uh, that's imperative. It's got a little clip there, so the door doesn't open in transit. So I think what I'll do is I'll put a uh, Cupboard door on there, similar to that one there. And that'll look like a good tower, that. Gives me a bit more storage as well. These guys are so cute. Anyway, that's it for me today. Graham, thank you so much for the fridge. Um, it's, you know how hellishly expensive these 12 volt fridges are. So um, it's a really good one. So thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm going back to London on Monday. Um, I've got to do a bit of work on the boat this afternoon. But yeah, I'll be back in, um, in London on Monday. But I'll probably put something up midweek if I can. Hope you guys are all well. See you soon. Bye bye.